How much can you save on a small kitchen remodel if you do the work yourselves? Jen, welcome to the Sunshine Farm. One of our first videos here on our YouTube channel was to show you guys our modern farmhouse kitchen renovation that we did by ourselves and really intentionally focusing on keeping the budget low while also making sure that this was a space that we loved and were really proud of. Today I wanted to share a cost breakdown of the kitchen as well as where we saved money from doing the work ourselves. I hope this is an encouragement to you that you can have the kitchen of your dreams, even in a small space, without a huge budget, if you're willing to do the work yourself. So I'm going to go through a breakdown of what each of the components cost, tell you a little bit about what we saved by doing the work ourselves, and then at the very end I will give you a full number for how much the renovation cost and the full amount that we saved from doing it ourselves. We saved a lot of money with the countertops that we chose. We chose a less expensive butcher block countertop. Um, the top layer is wood, but underneath that is a composite, which is not wood. This helped us save a substantial amount of money, and our countertops were only $617, which includes the actual countertop, which was $537, as well as the finishing materials, which were about $80. The projected labor cost for the butcher block countertops would have been over a thousand dollars at one thousand and forty dollars um, an estimated cost and so we saved a lot of money here and the actual materials were much less than the labor would have been our backsplash was also an area we saved a lot of money by doing it ourselves the cost of the tiles and the materials themselves were very low it was only about hundred and fifty dollars for the tiles as well as the grout but labor itself would have been over $700. The upper cabinets were actually the biggest cost that we took on other than our refrigerator, and that is because we replaced all of our upper cabinets. Now we did save a lot of money here. If we had gone with some custom wooden cabinets, they would have been a lot more. We were looking at about $741 for the three cabinets that we have. Two are the glass fronts, and then one is the smaller one on top of the fridge. The projected labor cost for installing upper cabinets was pretty low at just under $200. The sink and accessories were a big factor for us. We were really unhappy with our sink before the renovation and we really wanted something that provided us with a lot of space um, but also looked really nice. Especially since our kitchen is small, we, we wanted each and every space to stand out. We got a really great deal on our sink by going with an IKEA sink and it was $300. Our faucet was $169 and we really love it because you can move it around and it has a really nice modern look. We also replaced our garbage disposal and that was $197 and so now our sink is amazing to use, we're super happy with it and it looks really great as well. We saved about $400 by doing this ourselves so it was a significant amount of money for us. We didn't replace the lower cabinets, we decided instead to sand them down, prime them and paint them a dark nice black color which we're really happy with. We also decided to do a ship lap on the outside of the peninsula and that's added a really nice fun um, modern look as well as more of the farmhouse rustic charm. The ship lap was about $40 in materials and the paint itself was about $100. We also replaced all of the hinges and added new hardware on the lower cabinets as well as new hardware on the upper cabinets and that was about $65. We saved about $1,300 by doing the lower cabinets ourselves. The next area is our lighting and electrical. We replaced all of the electrical outlets in the kitchen with some nice white new outlets and we also replaced our light switches. They were about $40 in total to replace, but it was the labor cost that we really saved big here. We also replaced our pendant light above the sink and it was about $65 and we got it through Target. We also added in recessed lighting in our kitchen, which we didn't have previously, and this makes our whole house feel so much brighter. We spent about $170 on doing the recessed lighting. In the area of lighting and electrical, we saved about $1,040 by doing the work ourselves. 
The last area I want to talk about is appliances and some small accessories. We were really lucky that we only had to replace our fridge for a major appliance and then a microwave. Our refrigerator was $1,040. We purchased it through Amazon, but it's actually a Kenmore appliance. Really happy with it. We went with a pullout on the bottom for the freezer and it provides us with plenty of space, more than enough. Oftentimes our fridge looks completely empty. Our microwave was about $150 and it's a pretty large capacity microwave. It does a really good job of heating up food evenly and quickly and I will also link that below. We also added new bar stools to the other side of our peninsula. We picked a nice simple black bar stool and we got them through Wayfair, although they're also available on Amazon. The last two things we did were really small. We added a little spice rack under the upper cabinets and that's just been a great way to provide some space for those all essential spices that you're using every day. The last thing we did was a DIY pot and pan rack. This was a really quick and very inexpensive project. It was under $15. He has to be in every video, guys, I promise. I don't know why. Such a camera hog. The DIY pot and pan rack I also wrote a blog post about, and it's a quick little tutorial on how you can do this in your own kitchen, so I will link that post in the description below. When calculating the projected labor costs, we used a hourly fee of $65 an hour. This might differ significantly based on the region you live in. So I know this is the moment you've probably been waiting for, the total cost of our DIY, budget-friendly, modern farmhouse kitchen remodel. So here's what we spent on our kitchen. For the main kitchen components, which takes out the fridge and those little accessories I talked about, we spent $2,754. The appliances and the accessories added in another $1,272 for a grand total of $4,026. So when you take out the cost of the appliance, which can vary significantly depending on what you get, we spent a little under $3,000 on this kitchen remodel. And if you add in the projected labor costs, this remodel would have been over $10,000. We saved an approximately $6,175 by doing this work ourselves. And that is a more important number to me because the savings there are going right back into the equity of our home. And on top of that, it's really rewarding when you do the work yourselves. We have such an appreciation for this kitchen, remembering the blood, sweat, and tears that we put into the work. I hope this encouraged you to roll up your sleeves and get to work on your kitchen, doing the work yourselves and doing projects as you can afford them without taking on any debt. We were so happy that we did not take out any loans for our kitchen remodel and that we don't have to worry about paying anything off. We can enjoy it without that pressure.